Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at the Stamina Warden build for PvP called Hunter. I do have prototype builds here, I will add more pretty soon. Again, what does prototype mean? It's just like Fury Crafting now, once PTS goes live, I will keep testing this particular setup and make some adjustments to it. Once Morrowind goes live, I will do a build video and then we will see how the class developed. And we also can kind of see like whether or uh, was the Fury Crafting more or less right or was it complete garbage. So we will see how it goes. This is a medium armor build. We have a two-end bow setup. I do think that the Warden, Stamina Warden, is a very strong PvP class. I will get to that soon, like we have good sustain and the burst damage is going to be insane, crazy ultimate generation. Now what gear do we use? Basically the the pretty standard setup, Bone Pirate and Draugr Hulk. Like, you will see this setup even more than you do now because when they remove the cost reduction next patch, most likely, Bone Pirate will basically become a, a must have, even for a medium armor build. It's like, it's too good to not be used, unless obviously they nerf it. I don't think so, though. Now you see, in terms of trades, on the big pieces we are using Infused, and on the small pieces Impen. That's because I think a few Impen is nice, and yeah, just I think the extra resources are pretty cool. Next thing. In terms of weapon, basically, if you have a Maelstrom or a Master weapon, go for it, use it. Just make sure. If you only have a random weapon, you also can use it. You can use a Bone Pirate or a Draugr Hulk weapon, and then you can have one piece monster, monster set here. And you're good to go. Sharp. Just make sure it's sharpened, okay? In terms of skills, also, I will do like a two hander sword and board build as well later on. In terms of skills. We're here on as a skill factory i'll put the link into the description so you can go check it out and also furycraft your own wardens if you already want to so what i thought for this setup rally on the front bar obviously it's just a too strong to not use bird of prey this gives us eight percent more damage through minor berserk and also major expedition gives us 30 percent speed buff so that's really strong now Next thing, the Cliff Racer. This is a stamina skill, it's undodgeable, it can be activated from range. So even if you're not close with your two-hander, you still can use this, which is nice. This is swing. Well, good old this is swing. Stuns people. And it just deals a shit ton of damage. Vigor. Then we use the bear ultimate on both sides here. The bear ultimate is really strong. It It is a pet. The enemies will hit the pet instead of you because it's just fucking annoying to target. And yeah, it's just... it. The pet let shit deals a shit ton of damage. And when you activate the ultimate... Phew. Yeah, I fought, I fought Warden in the playtesting and it was just like... I was lucky I was a stem DK so I could fossilize this shitty bear otherwise goodbye. Now expensive frost cloak. This is also a really strong skill. It gives you the major resolve and major war, increasing your physical and spell resistance by 5.3k. And on top of that, it also gives you minor protection, increasing your damage mitigation by 8%. That's so strong. That's like, that's almost 20% damage mitigation. Not, but close to. Yeah, yeah, about. Then we have the subterranean assault. You activate this three seconds later, shark dudes come out of the ground and hit everybody. And it also debuffs them. So it's just, those fucking warden skills, it's basically made for stem warden PvP. Just telling you. So you don't need sword and board to get uh, the major fracture debuff. You have that on this skill. And it deals a ton of damage on top of that. Then we have Lotus Blossom. Now this skill is also... You see, while active, 26% damage caused by your light and heavy attack also heals a nearby Ollie. Basically, what they're trying to say is it heals you, okay. And on top of that, Cars also gains major prophecy and major savage, increasing the crit. Uh, it's like... It's so strong and that's so much extra healing on top of Vigor and Rally. 
Because your light attacks do deal quite nice damage. And yeah, you know. Shuffle, must have. Hard and cheeses, dodge chance. And this. Major heroism. Basically doubling your ultimate generation. It's just so strong. It's fucking insane. Now, how do we kill people here? Basically, you press this. You press this. And then you press this is wing. All three will hit at the same time, more or less. Because this is a line AoE. When you... It comes out of the ground and hits the dude. And... Like, when you, when you look this way... And you activate it. And then three seconds later you look this way. Like, like this. It will shoot out like from this side. So that's, it's kind of really strong. So you can line up perfectly. Cliff Racer. Undodgeable. Ranged attack. So even if they dodge all they will get damage. So the only really way an enemy has is to block counter that shit. Which is kind of... Yeah. And then you still have this swing. If he doesn't block his fucking pinata, no matter what. If you want, you can use like another skill like executioner, but I really don't think it's necessary. Because we have so we have really nice damage mitigation. This shit just gives us so much more damage. And then the bear ultimate. It's so much damage. It's, it's kinda of stupid. Now obviously if you play in a group, maybe. Dawnbreaker of Smithing might be the better choice because you basically can pop that shit like candy because of major heroism. So yeah. The only real downside we have here is that we don't have a shield. Some sort like Igneous Shield on a Stamina DK. But then again, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's, We can dodge roll quite a lot because we, we're in medium armor and yeah, it's just shit is going to die so fast. In terms of champion points, same thing again, like pretty basic setup. The only thing that we are not sure yet is the Warlord thingy. If they remove the cost reduction, this is probably pointless to put points in here. So we will put them somewhere else. But yeah, let's see. Obviously, we are using the dubious Cameron Throne food because we're using the Bone Pirate. So... This gives us basically max health, max stem, and stamina recovery. That's where we get most sustain from. And because we're using medium armor, the recovery gets even boosted more, and we also get more cost reduction. Because if the cost reduction gone is gone here, heavy armor builds will have a problem. Medium armor builds will be totally fine. We're using the Serpent Mundo Stone. I'm not yet sure whether the thief... Like, do we need more sustain? If yes, then we use the Serpent Mundo Stone. If not, then we will use the Thief. Now, possibly, I, s I keep preferring Redgar. Maybe a Wood Elf might also be a nice choice because of the recovery stuff. But we will see. We will see. That's basically it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Again, this is just Fury Crafting. Has to be more tested. And then let's see where this goes to. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.